You may be seated as we continue with this morning's children message. Our children can come up front at this time. We'll have our, our little ones, you can sit on the floor, and our big kids can sit on the first pew here. Come on up, over here, this way, this pew. <laughs> Wrong side, come on over here. Can you see me? <laughs> All right. Well, good morning. It's so nice to see you today. Who likes plants? Raise your hand if you like plants. Okay. All right. What do you like about plants? Charlotte? They're pretty. Okay. What else? What do you like about plants? And they're pretty. I, I got a potted plant right here. It's not a bouquet of flowers, but it's, it's green. It looks nice. It smells smells all de pretty decent. It's a nice potted plant. So in our gospel reading for today, we heard a little bit about plants. We're going to read that again. It comes from John 15, verses 1 through 8. And listen closely. See if you can discover what parts of the plant that we're talking about. So it reads, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch that and withers, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples. So in that Bible passage we learned about the vine, the branches, and the fruit. Now which part of the plant is the most important, the vine, the branches, or the fruit? What do you think? What's the most important? The vine. Okay, right, it's the vine. Because if the vine was dead, what would happen to the branches and the fruit? They, yeah, they'd be gone. They'd, they'd wither up and die, right? They need the vine in order to live. So it's kind of like an engine in a car. If a car didn't have an engine, would it work? No, no, right? The car needs the engine in order to move. So in the same way in a plant, we need the vine to give life to the branches so that they can bear fruit. Now, if the vine and the branches were dead, could the fruit grow? No, that wouldn't work either. But Jesus says that he is the vine. And who are the branches? Us, right? You are the branches. Jesus is our vine, and he gives us life. Now, how does Jesus give us life? By going to the cross and dying for our sins. And he didn't stay dead, right? He rose again and he defeated death so that we can live with him in heaven forever. Now because of the love that God shows us through Jesus, the vine, we have the freedom to go and love and serve our neighbors, to bear fruit. Now I want you guys to remember this today because sometimes we forget 
about the life that Jesus gives us. We, we can struggle as branches, and we can even be led astray. If we're mean to our friends, or we don't listen to our mom and dad, we're, we're sinning, and we're not producing the good fruit that we should be. Through our actions, we can even choose to cut ourselves off from the vine. And if that happens, what happens to a branch that's cut off from the vine? It dies. Kind of like this leaf here. It's cut off from the rest of the plant, from the stem. It's not getting the life it needs to live. It's, it's withering up and dying. But here is the good news. The good news for you. Jesus is our vine. He is our life. Jesus died for you. He rose for you. And he gives you forgiveness for all of your sins. Amen. Okay, thanks for coming up, guys. You can go back to your seats.